This is tall goldenrod, Solidago altissima. And this drooping character of the inflorescences really says goldenrod to me. And I use the flowers of these in order to make a nice tea, and it has this vibrant yellow color. A poultice of these tall goldenrod flowers were applied to burns and ulcers by the Chippewa, and a poultice of the powdered root was applied to boils. An infusion from the roots of goldenrod was drank by the Cherokee to treat tuberculosis and nerve pain. The seeds of another species, Solidago canadensis, were eaten by the Ute. The roots of Canada goldenrod were eaten by the Cayenta Navajo or smoked in a tobacco mix. An infusion of the flowers was drunk by the Potawatomi for fevers. A decoction of the above ground parts was drunk for diarrhea by the Thompson, and the flowers were chewed for sore throat by the Zuni. A decoction of California goldenrod leaves and flowers were used by the Costanoans and Kawaiasu to wash burns and sores. Zigzag goldenrod roots were chewed for sore throat by the Chippewa, and the dried powdered leaves were insufflated by the Menominee for a headache. The young leaves of Solidago missouriensis were eaten with salt by the Hopi. The above ground parts of Solidago nemoralis were used as an incense by the Navajo.